Hi, let me show you a wine warmer from Royal Catering. Uh, a device great not only for, well, uh, Christmas markets, but also for commercial kitchen, because it's much more than just a wine warmer. You can also use it as a stock pot or a food pasteurizer with the help of this rack that you get in the set. Um, since we added this rack, you just place on the bottom uh, of the tank, you place your jars with your food on it, and you just set your temperature and you can pasteurize your food, then just put it in storage and keep it for a while. Um, also, uh, when you use it as a stock pot, you can use this rack as a sieve, uh, so you just place it on the bottom, and when you drain it, all the solids will stay on this rack, so the tap doesn't clog up. Uh, one remark there, this device is not for cooking uh, anything thicker than runny creams and broth and stocks uh, because it may clog up this tap. Uh, all right, so let me just go through all the details. Well, first of all, uh, you have 27 litre uh, capacity, but an operational capacity of 20 litres. There is a marking inside, pressed in the metal, outside and inside as well, on how much uh, well, stock or broth or wine uh, you can pour inside. Never overfill this uh, tank because when you overfill it and you bring it up to boil, it may go over the edges and you may have uh, hot splashes everywhere and that's never a good thing. Uh, of course, it comes with a plastic lid. Uh, one remark there and my personal advice, whenever you open it, when the device is in, uh, operating, uh, never open it inwards, just open it outwards because the steam accumulating underneath the lid, lid and when you open it uh, towards yourself you may uh, get burned with steam and that's uh, quite pain painful. Uh, very cool feature is the fact that this device has handles on each end. Of course plastic handles so they heat proof so you can carry it around uh, even when the device has been uh, operating and it's hot. Uh, you shouldn't but you have the possibility. Besides, it's always uh, a hassle to carry on uh, kitchen equipment, so it's always good to have something to grab it by. Uh, all right, moving down. Um, the heart of the mechanism is, of course, in the base. That's where the heating element is. The heating element is between the tank and the uh, base, and to controls. And that's where the fun begins. Uh, you have a lot of options. So first of all, you can set the temperature with this knob. Uh, once you've set it, by pressing it, you confirm it. You see this, um, these bars going up and down, uh, which means the device is heating to the uh, temperature you've set, so in this case 90 degrees. Underneath you have the display uh, of the current temperature, so it's the temperature that's inside the tank. And this is the timer. So. Uh, you can set the time, whatever you need it, or you can do constant. By pressing it, you have constant timer, so this device will uh, keep the desired temperature for as long as you need it until you turn it off. Let me just pour you a glass of mulled wine and show you how the tap works. So the tap works two ways. This is actually a double action. So if you press it, it will jump back, so you can control how much you're pouring. Or if you pull it, it will lock itself in a downward position, so you have the constant pour. So you have to remember to put it back up. And that's about it. Um, very versatile, uh, very useful in any kitchen, because if you're doing stocks, you don't need to sacrifice any uh, burners of, on your stove, um, which is always painful, especially during service. Just put it somewhere in the corner and you can do your demi-glass or stock or whatever you're doing. So that's really cool. Uh, if you're looking for a mulled wine warmer or a stock pot, as I prefer to call it, uh, please have a look at the website because there's a variety of these devices on offer in different capacities, different sizes, different colors. Uh, so you'll definitely find the one that you need for your venue. Uh, each and every one comes with a three-year warranty and they will be shipped to you in a really sturdy cardboard box, just like this one. Uh, with a really tight fit with the styrofoam and of course the instruction manual. Uh, please have a look, read the instruction manual because there's a lot of information on how to prep the device for its first use, how to clean it and operate it uh, and all the technical data in it, so definitely a worth reading. 
All right, that's about it. So if you found this information useful, just leave me a comment in the comment section. Uh, let me know what other equipment I can test for you and I'll do it. I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.